Well, the High Sheriff uh, dates back over a thousand years. They were originally called Shire Reeves and did all the work for the king in the county. Uh, nowadays, uh, people are picked generally because they are involved in charity work and perhaps have something to do with the um, legal system. I myself have been a magistrate for 25 years. Hudson House Youth Community Projects Limited. First Cramlington Guides. First Whittington BP Scout Group. Ocean Youth Trust. People and Drugs, it's 16 bar. The Country Trust. Dragon Tail Theatre Group. Morpeth Group, Riding for the Sale. Cowpen Key Community Association. And Prudna Youth Project. Let's have a big round of applause for all of our youths. <laughs> this is Blackton Park Cricket Club, everybody. Blackton Park Cricket Club is situated on the Blackton Estate. Blackton Park Cricket Club has been established for over 125 years. And welcome to the Community Awards for the High Sheriff of Northumberland 2024 here in Annick, Northumberland. Well, I'm delighted to be here. This year we are supporting 48 charities and the Northumberland High Sheriff Fund has given, is giving away uh, over £50,000. So I'm so pleased that we can help all these charities. The charities involved are all connected with young people and broaden their horizons and give them great opportunities throughout Northumberland. Exclusive. We have mm -hmm. the incumbent High Sheriff of Northumberland who is taking the post as of when? April the 6th. Right. And I have to be called High Sheriff in nomination because ah. I believe the King tomorrow goes through the lists of High Sheriffs and once he has agreed, then you can be High Sheriff. Right. So until tomorrow, oh. James Royce so tells here. me <laughs> that I am not in any you're way not. Okay, confirmed. well, we will, so look, you're right. I will, we, we will look forward to it. Yeah. So without any further to do, would you please welcome this gentleman to my right. Put your hands together for James Royce, everybody. We started planning this in January and started sending out the invitations on the 12th of February and between the 12th of February and the 12th of March that's how long it takes to get all the replies in and seats organised uh, and sadly one or two dropouts tonight because of logistics or children who are not very well. And the same venue as last year. Same venue as last year. Joe and Dale have been involved with the Buffalo Community Centre since Joe was 15 and Dale was 40 years of age. Between them, they've dedicated 36 years of their lives to help young people in Fly. They volunteered for the uh, youth club project, then trained to become youth workers, and are now learning the ropes of centre management and community development. And you've been in the position for about a year now? I have, yes. I'm coming up to the end of my year. I've had a really interesting year. I have uh, met so many wonderful people, many of whom work for the charities and work in the voluntary sector. And also I've had a few surprises, like when Sycamore Gap, yes. uh, the tree got chopped down and I found myself on national radio and television which I wasn't expecting, um, but uh, all in all it has been a fantastic year. Pleasure to see you again and what a relief it is to have got everyone across the start line this evening. Uh, we're getting better uh, at this process, uh, we've got more music, we've got less bagpipes and we're going to have a lot of fun this evening. Stomping ground for a 
first school northeast CIC. NE Pax. 1248 Prudas Squadron Air Training Corps. Morpeth Rangers. Cranlington Voluntary Youth Project. Kokoro Shotokan Karate Club Supporters Group. 1801 Anik Squadron Air Training Corps. Escape Family Support. We can. Community at NE66. Let's give all of our groups a huge round of applause. What would you be looking forward to over the next year? I think it is meeting, well, I'm going to get a glimpse of it tonight, the whole of Northumberland, which is the biggest county, one of the biggest counties, mm -hmm. to go from one end to the other, and you're meeting people who work under the radar. They're not necessarily shouting out about what yes. they're doing, and they're working with... Predominantly, the, the High Sheriff is interested in young people and the activities, support that they're given. So I think that's going to be interesting. And then the other side of it is the legal side, the magistrates and the courts. So that, Diana, the present one, has mm -hmm. been a magistrate for yeah. 25 yes. years. Yes. So she has given me some top tips. Well, what an exclusive. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank Lovely you, to Jeff. meet you. Thank you. Knee packs. Based in Ashington, Escape Family Support is a community-led response to drug and alcohol misuse in Northumberland, any youth. recently welcomed the Odysseus Mentoring Project into its portfolio of services. The project is dedicated to empowering children and families. When you come up to Berwick mm -hmm. and I show you the walls, the Elizabethan walls, yes, please, 13th yes. century, mm -hmm. but also my old church, which was Berwick Parish Church, and I was asked to go there in 94, just for two or three years, and within weeks I found it had been built by my former regiment, the Coldstream Guards, in 1650. I didn't join until a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, and so we stayed and, and restored the church. So it's well worth seeing. It's yes. open all day, and I'd love to show you it, Mark. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Right, this final individual award goes to a truly remarkable young man. Dylan Gibson <clears throat> took up karate at a young age and went on to compete at the various highest levels, being a member of the KUGB England squad 14 years. He was awarded his full instructor qualification on his 18th birthday. In December 2022, Dylan was diagnosed with the hereditary disease LHON after he noticed his vision becoming blurred. And by, that, by November of that year, he was registered as blind. Once uh, your name has been put forward, it goes uh, to the king, and they, uh, by tradition, the name is pricked in vellum by a needle. The story goes that uh, in Queen Elizabeth I's time, she was doing some embroidery, and somebody bought her a list of names, and she used her needle to uh, put a, a hole in the names that she of the people she deemed suitable to be high sheriff. Are you seem to be enjoying yourself? Very much so, because I don't have to wear uniform. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> 
we think this is a great place to hold the event. It's got an auditorium of 266 people and, and we'd like to fill it. Fourth Morbeth Gates, Corbridge Youth Initiative, the Northumberland County Federation for Young Farmers Club, Mortal Fools, Alan Mouth and Lesby Cricket Club, Duchess High School Trust, Barrisford Scout Group, Empire School of Fox, North Tyne Youth, Berwick Youth Project. Let's give them all a huge round of applause. Firstly, to our honoured guest, Caroline Guy, Vice Lord Lieutenant of Northumberland, who I am delighted to welcome back to our award ceremony this year. Also, to CCLA Investment Management for their kind and generous sponsorship of this evening. Uh, it's a great privilege for CCLA to sponsor this evening's event. We manage assets for a lot of uh, Northeast charities, and we manage assets also, as the High Sheriff was saying, for almost all community foundations, including the Community Foundation for Tyne and Ware and Northumberland. To Harry Crisp, my under sheriff, Fiona Sample, my chaplain, and Tracy Holland from the Lord Lieutenant's Office, who have given me so much help and advice over the last year. And I wanted to say thank you to all the adults who look after all the charities that we support across the county. The county show is run by an organisation called Tyndale Agricultural Society. It's a charity and the surplus revenue we make from the show goes towards bursaries for young people in Northumberland to study land-based courses. Group 4. Sunshine Steel Panels. The Newbra and Warden Sportsmill Association. NE Youth. First Hinbridge Scout Group. Amble Youth Project. Northumbria Calvert Trust, 224 Hexham Squadron Air Training Corps, Children North East, Northumberland Domestic Abuse Services, and Choices. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our group, our group board. Thank you. Thank you. Diana, you are the celebrated woman of this evening. With your sustained and substantial efforts, energy and enthusiasm throughout the year. Could you tell us why it only lasts for a year? Well, it's always traditionally been quite an expensive uh, post. Fortunately now it's not so expensive, but in the old days uh, the sheriffs were the tax collectors, and if they didn't collect enough tax for the year, they were liable to, and they had to make up the amount themselves. And so a lot of people used to try and get out of being a high sheriff and that was partly why the names had their names pricked on the vellum so they couldn't, it couldn't be altered and so somebody else was put in as high sheriff instead. So you won't have to make up the difference today? Uh, no, fortunately <laughs> uh, not. <laughs> and thank you on behalf of the lieutenancy team for your contribution to our county. Metaphor Dance Company, Second Cromlinton Scout, First Swollen Guides, So we should have Allendale Youth Ambition, Four or Four Morbeth Royal Air Force Cadets.